next thing we are going to do is power up our system and uh, I've got my radio link 8010 transmitter here now what I'm going to do firstly as the wiring is here I'm going to power this on and uh, all the con uh, switches are to the top but I'm going to put the throttle all the way to the top so everything must be to the top okay then I'm going to take a battery and this is basically just to calibrate the ESC's and uh, plug that in now obviously our receiver has already been bound double check that it's beeping and before you do anything leave that as is and unplug again okay we've now unplugged and we are plugging in again Right, it beeps twice. We drop the throttle all the way to the bottom. It beeps three times and then one long. We unplug again. All right. Now with the throttle down, we plug in again. Three beeps one long beep and now we should be able to arm push bottom right double flickers you'll see your red light comes on and your motors should spin now the thing is because the way we connected it all our motors should be spinning in the um, anti-clockwise direction so we confirm that Yes, that one's spinning. I'm testing all our motors, and all of them are spinning anti clockwise. So now we refer back to our um, chart on the motor spin directions that we want them, and the ones that need to spin clockwise, we are going to swap the wires of. I'm just going to quickly do that. If we refer to our motor spin direction chart here um, I'll put up a graphic of that so you can see that properly I've now swapped the appropriate wires around because our spin cycle needs to be counterclockwise counterclockwise on this motor and counterclockwise on this motor and this one this motor is clockwise this one's clockwise and this one's clockwise right now if I've adjusted the motor wires correctly I just sw swapped the red and the black around on uh, these motors so that they will now spin um, in the correct direction now let's test that quickly by switching on our transmitter everything is to the top we connect our battery Do -do -do. three beeps one long beep there we go we are now ready so we can arm so it's one keep it in that'll flash and the red goes solid and if we now pull this closer that motor is now spinning we can check it on our chart it is now spinning counterclockwise which is this way around and that's correct this motor is spinning clockwise that way around that's correct check this motor it should be spinning counterclockwise so that way that's correct this motor needs to spin clockwise which is that direction that's correct 
This one needs to be counterclockwise again, which is that direction. Just on it again. Right, it's spinning in that direction, which is counterclockwise, which is correct. And the final motor on this side needs to be clockwise. Well, it's the first motor again. So yes, all our motors are now spin spinning in the correct direction. If your motor is not spinning in the correct direction, all you need to do is just swap any two of the wires. I like to swap the, the, the red and the black. And there you go. We are pretty much ready to uh, put on props, put on landing gear, and uh, almost do a flight test. But yes, yeah, so there's a couple of things we still need to do. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm happy that our uh, hexacopter is uh, almost ready to fly.